In this video, I want to go over a utility called KRename. And if you found this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video that has a description and ways that you can install it on your Linux system. So let's first explain what KRename is and how to use it. Now, KRename is a utility that will rename multiple files and here is an example that you know, uses my dark theme you can click here to add your files or you can click the add button here to add your files you have four tabs across the top and I explain what the four tabs are and there's more of a description and a, a, a list of features and I'm not going to read all of that and I'm going to be demonstrating it by using changing renaming multiple files of images that I use as wallpaper but you're not just stuck for renaming images you can rename anything document files uh, the, the names of document files if they're categorized like in science or something or you can rename music files to the correct format by bulk renaming or even video files so you're not just restricted to the file naming of images. Now you just open your terminal and copy and paste sudo apt get update. Now you can just say sudo apt update, copy that, paste it into your terminal, press the enter return key, and then you're just simply putting this in there, right click, putting it in your terminal, and pressing the enter key to install it on your system. Now if you're using another format other than Ubuntu or a Debian based system, you can click this link, locate the operating system which you have, and install it by the installation file on your system. Now another way that you can install it is by FlatHub. So the FlatHub goes across, it's kind of universal for all Linux distributions. You, if you don't have it set up, read the how to set up guide here and click the install button to install it on your system. But those are the different ways you can install it. Once you've installed it, it will place it in your menu. If you don't see it in your menu, you can reboot your system and it should show up within your menu. The first time you load it, it will look something similar to what I had up here without the images. That's the first time that you load it. It'll say, welcome to K rename. It allows you to load the files that you want to rename. And uh, over, the ti over time, I like to look for wallpapers and I download them in a folder called picture wallpapers and then I name them and put them in a folder according to what they name so here I have a wallpaper folder then I have a folder called nature and I look for nature scenes and I have up to 73 so if I right click this and then copy this name that way when I continue I can start at 74 and continue by bulk renaming these files here that are just random numbers and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment but as you can see here I go and select the folder and I add all the images to it and I have the definitions and a description of all the buttons within in each image below them so right now I'm not going to go through and explain all of those but for example if you load this and don't know how to use it I will have a brief description showing you how to use the program so let's actually go and rename those images. So let me go to my applications. Let me go to K rename. Once it loads, I'm going to click the add button. Once the add button loads, I'll go to my picture. I go to wallpapers and then I'm going to load every one. So I hold down the shift key and I press the down arrow. There's other ways you can do that until I select them all. Then I click the open button and it's going to load them in any order. You can change the order by clicking onto it, moving it up and down. But that's, I don't really care for the renaming the order. You're ready now to go to your destination. Here you can rename the input files, which is what I want to do. You can copy the files to the destination folders as you re, uh, name them, or you can move the files to the destination folders, or you can create a symbolic link to the destination folders, or you can click to overwrite the existing files if they're already with that name in another folder. I'm, not, I'm just going to choose the default to rename the input files. There's a lot of different plugins that will work with this program here. I'm not going to go over these right here for the sake of the, the time of the video. Now here's the, the strength of the rename. You can set it to save a, a prefix such as a number, a date, or the, you use the original name for a prefix. I'm going to choose the for some, the suffix, I'm going to choose a number. Now with the file name, I'm going to say use the original file name or actually I'm going to say uh, customize the name and I'm going to put the custom name here and I'm going to take out the number because that's going to be my prefix. So if you look down here, it's got nature scene and then the resolution. Then I want it to start at number 74. So it ends at 73 here. 
So if I come here and say set my suffix to a number, I want the number of digits as you can see here I have them set to 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, 0, 1, 5. So I'm going to set a prefix number of digits to 3. And as you can see here I'm starting with 74. There may be a number there, there may not be. If not you can use the up and down number or you can type it in with your number keypad. So as you can see here three digits starting at number 74. So the original name is on the left of the files as you can see here and then the names of the rename. So when I copy them into the original folder or their new folder they will start at the end here. So let me bring up the folders that I'm going to change. and I'll bring up the application. Pull this down. When I hit finish, notice these names here will immediately change. So when I hit finish, as you can see here, it renamed them very quickly. Now before you close this dialog box, if you realize that you don't want to change their names, you can hit undo and it will go back and put them to their original name. So if you accidentally rename the wrong files, you don't have to panic. You can go into hit undo and it will undo them. If not, you can leave the name as is and it will rename them. So let me go back real quickly. Go to OK Rename, go to back to Add, go back to my pictures, go to, to my wallpapers, and select them all. Go back and hit Open. And now I'm going to go straight to my file name and skip the destination plugins. I'm going to put, say, use a custom name, put my custom name that I had, delete out my suffix numbers, number of digits, I'm going to go to 3, not 4 and start with 74 which is here but I gotta say that I'm going to use a suffix which is a number as you can see here you can see it on the right side hit finish and the numbers are changed I hit the close button now I can select these files and I could have chose to move them and I chose which folder but here I can cut them put them in my nature wallpaper and they will continue where it left off so if I find more images on the internet I can start them at 86 and so on and so forth because as you see here I use the variety wallpaper and I do cut my computer on when I get up of the morning cut it off before I go to bed and I have it set to change the wallpaper every five hours so the original first wallpaper comes from Bing and then it uses folders that I have on my system for other wallpapers and I have the wallpaper folder with my nature as the one that selected the, so it will change it throughout the day so I like to find the wallpapers now again this is not just for images you can use it for music videos and other type of images now I do know that uh, most file managers within Linux will allow you to select images and choose to rename them all which has a bulk renamer but not every Linux distribution and every file manager has that feature so if you don't and would like a specific program then you might want to give K rename a try hopefully this video has been helpful to someone and have a great day